It was time to move the last batch of African cichlids from the 210 gallon aquarium to their new home in the 300 gallon. Like I do usually, I lowered the water level and removed the decor because otherwise African cichlids are almost impossible to catch. In particular, I was having difficulty with the sand diver, the Phosphochromus rostratus, and that's the fish that you see right here in the middle of the screen. Beautiful fish, very fast, very smart, and they do live up to their name, and in the blink of an eye, like in a puff of smoke, they are gone. They are under the sand and nowhere to be seen in the aquarium. Sometimes they'll disappear completely. Sometimes just an eye or a fin will be sticking out. But it, it happened about two or three times with this fish. And finally I decided, you know what? I'm going to set up the camera and I'm going to see if I can capture it on film. And you'll see right now when I'm trying to chase him down, some of the other fish can are getting in the way a little bit. And I should have caught all of them first and filmed the sand diver last. But still, you're going to get to see this sand diver literally just disappear and uh, leave behind just a little bit of a puff of, of substrate. As up oh, there he goes. He's gone. Now you saw that. Let's see it. Let's see it again, a little bit more slowly. See if we can catch him diving in and and kind of zoom in a little bit. There he is. He's heading towards the far side of the tank and a couple fish are in the way there but right there right there he, he dives into the sand and is uh, nowhere to be seen I've had other fish do this I had a, a lethronops back in California that would do it and uh, just like with a sand diver when you're removing fish if you have sand divers, you have to be sure that you have all of your sand divers accounted for because you might end up draining the tank and leaving one of them behind. I decided to go ahead and, and uh, dig him out. He did leave a little bit of his tail sticking out of the sand so I could find him. And there it is. There's a little bit of his tail sticking out. And so I tried to coax him up and out of the sand by touching his tail, but that didn't work. So I went ahead and I grabbed him. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed him by the tail. And he's finally he came out of the <laughs> finally he came out of the sand and uh, spit out a mouthful of a uh, of substrate. You can see it here. I'll show it to you again. Come on, come on. Uh, he was being real stubborn. And then finally he said, okay, he's got me. And he comes flying out of there. This really makes a case for having a real smooth substrate because he would certainly scratch up his eyes if you had a real rough edge substrate and they did this. But at any rate, he it was very interesting to see. And I'd seen it before, but I'd never captured it on video. And if you do have African cichlids or are considering getting into African cichlids, really consider a, uh, a sand diver, a Phosphochromus rostratus. Just a beautiful fish. They get very large. They can get uh, 10 inches or so or larger. And the colors and markings of that fish are beautiful. But what I like probably the most about them is their temperament. They remind me a lot of a Buchochromus notatania uh, in that they, they, they just go back and forth and and, and just hang out and don't really get into a lot of aggression. They don't really get picked on because they're a very hefty big fish. So uh, they don't really get chased around or beat up and uh, they can hold their own, but they don't go looking for trouble like maybe a Venusis or a Mabuna or, you know, like a what you'd call a giraffe hap or a living stone eye fish in the, in the, uh, in the Nimbochromus family. So, I highly recommend that you uh, that you get a uh, a sand diver, and certainly you'll have a lot of fun if you ever go after one and watch him dive into the sand. We'll talk about this as well as uh, South and Central American cichlids, planted tanks, 
better fish community tanks we'll talk about all of it and uh, updates on the fish room at the saturday cichlids and coffee live stream at 11 a.m central i hope to see you there and if you like this channel don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much my friends you are always very very appreciated for taking the time to watch bye bye